good evening everybody and it is very nice to see so many people coming on sunday because before i started this session a lot of people says that why you took a sunday so uh, this is maybe my personal experience i felt it whenever i have uh, any of the uh, we call a christmas or some of the function i felt the kids are nowadays are more busier than us because they have so many either sports they are going or they are going for learning something on saturday sundays so only evening is the time where they are maybe a little bit free so that's uh, one of the reason we this time we thought we will have a sunday evening when you may be a little bit free this is very very close to my heart so two things which uh, makes me to do or have this passion itself is how to have the next generation or the our future to be having the best what they wanted what they want to dream and they achieve the dream and second of course is for me is the uh, financial uh, fitness for the women so let us try to take this uh, taking across how to achieve your dreams so i am assuming some of them may be having a parents so i will have a small section for parents otherwise please tell your parents uh, what i am going to say but this sessions for me is always what i have implemented with my kids also so that same thing applies to that so most of the time we don't realize it we do the planning every day and day in and day out but not so much so the kids are today when somebody was asking what is the range i said any kids can come nowadays they are much smarter than us so as long as they are able to understand because i am going to tell in a pure story format where you may love it or a videos so what comes in your mind when you think about money so sanjay i want somebody if they are writing uh, or if they are raising the hand i want them to um, put it on the speaker mode so what it comes in your mind when you think uh, about a money so anybody please uh, do so i think so kartin has told can we keep it or you chat you put it across in a chat or something by the time sanjay uh, make you on a thing so somebody has written good evening that's good evening everybody and any of those what comes in your mind when you think of money sanjay can you make the person uh, unmute participate sure ma'am but uh, i can allow someone is raising hand i can allow them yeah two people have been uh, doing that yeah. currency currency wow very nice word currency anything else that's nice value value very good so it's a very nice word uh, which i never thought of that's the way it called the out of bo box thinking anybody else is there so what it comes to me when i was small also it's like a uh, things what i want we need a money we need something so let us say being you all are young if you wanted to buy a pizza or you wanted to buy a one clothes or a shoes now schools are reopening i am sure you must be wanted to buy a bags or water bottles or anything you need money so how the money comes how your parents get it so when we were small uh, and uh, we were asking the money they will say okay my dad goes to the bank and get it now the younger generation says no 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 the atm uh, uh, machine is there my dad just goes and get it so that's another way of doing it when i ask our kids uh, what is money uh, means to them so it is things to buy most of the time that's the way people believe and even i also think that it's a barter system if you want to buy something you have to give the money and then you buy it across so let us start imagining in your mind how the money is actually the money is like a tree so how you see so the seed and then you uh, put water you put manure the sunlight comes then it grows and then it become the flower and then it start giving the fruits so same thing happens with the money also when you start sowing little by little a little by little it start growing more and start repaying to you so i wanted all of you to uh, do this survey for me 
Uh, how many of you had or have the piggy banks? Just say yes or no. It's very nice. Around 25 people have done it and still going stronger. So good to know around 75 people have participating. So within a few seconds, we will stop it. Uh, five more seconds, Sanjay. And so this is the good way he's trying to explain you and throw the answer. It says that 90% people have a piggy bank. And that is the best thing. I also remember that previously the piggy banks was actually with the mud. So you cannot remove it. You have to break it to remove the money but nowadays you have a different kind of piggy bank where you have a lock and key and other things but that concept of piggy bank was always there in my mind and i want you to have that concept also because that will always try to make you understand that most of us have that very beautiful way of thinking how we can save money so how we used to put it money in our piggy banks most of the time whenever either parents gave or birthdays festivals your grandparents your family friends some money comes they will put it across and what was the reason we were saying that when we will try to make it little big you don't know how much it is but when i need something big we will always try to break it so i remember most of the time at least for us it will be okay i wanted to buy my own cycle I remember uh, Smriti, our daughter, wanted to buy that time that uh, it was what I don't remember it calls, where you hear the song for from an iPad, um, Apple it was. So she that was 14,000 rupees and she has to uh, keep saving and saving and saving and then say, okay, so that become a very close to your heart because you have saved the money maybe for four years, five years. And you have purchased, it can be a best toy or it can be a cycle or it can be a, some gadget. But that is uh, your thought of your own earning because you have saved that much. So money is also like that. When you keep it for a longer time and you have your specific goal for that, you will cherish that throughout the life. And this is what I want you all to this. I'm going to send it. I prefer if you can fill it and give it to me, it will be good to track it more. But we will try to tell now. So how you mean by what is the earning means? So most of the time, what is money? It comes in a mind how important it is. Of course, uh, money is the basic thing. I can say you where we have to take a uh, staying. We have to either rent or you must be having a house, how to handle the food, your basic clothing, which is a basic needs, but how individual receive the money in exchange. So in a olden days, there is nothing much called a money concept. The money concept was not so old. It has just started, I think, so around 100, 150 years old. Uh, previously, it is used to be a bata system. So like a I have, for example, uh, the villager have the wheat or something. You give a wheat, I'll give you the vegetables. I do work for you, you will give it to me something. So there was a lot of bata system where they were, whatever they are earning, it was in a kind. But sometimes it happens when I, uh, for example, you say that uh, you wanted to have a specific things. Let us say, I'm just giving an example. Uh, you have to buy some leather jacket. And the person who is around you doesn't have a leather jacket you wanted to. Uh, now you have to give it to somebody else. So then it started with the gold or it started with the coins. Then the very beautiful thing they have told about currency. Then exchanges started making that, okay, this leather is actually costing me around 1000 rupees and the gold is costing about then the measurement of all the money and exchanges, currencies and other things start coming. So what slowly, slowly that story started building of saying that, okay, now we will have not only the barter system, we will have it uh, exchanges, we will have a currency in case 
I'm still not able to do. So you will give it to me on my earning. So there is a story. Uh, I am sure you must have all heard it. There was a villager. Uh, there is a family and they had a one kid and uh, one daughter, one son. The son was very, very lazy. So the father says, I wanted to teach you the how to give the value of money. So he says, what is the value of money? We are able to, we have a, such a big uh, farm. We are able to eat. We are uh, having a good life. Why do we have to go and work? So he says, no, I don't know how long I'm going to be there. So you have to take care of the full farm. So he says, okay, tomorrow onwards, you are not going to get food till you earn some, something. He said, okay, fine. So next day he came in to the mother. He says, uh, mother, I am not having any money. And father said, he cannot give me the food till I earn some money. Give me some money. So mother gave 100 rupees. And at the end of a night, he came in his father. He says, see, I have worked. I have got 100 rupees. Father said, good. He said, put that money in the well and go and eat. He said, very nice. So he went to the well, he put the 100 rupees and it went in the drain, kind of it in the well and he ate the food. Next day morning, he went to the mother. Mother says, now I don't have a money. So he went to the sister. Sister, can you give it to me some money? So sister says, okay, I don't have so much money. I have only 50 rupees. He said, fine. He went in the evening and he said, his dad, so I have worked today. I was not having so much money. I didn't get it. I got 50 rupees. So father says, wow, you have got a good money. It's second day also. So he said, go and put it in the well. And then you eat the food. So he was happy go lucky that I don't have to do much work. Third day, he said to mother, mother says, I don't have money. They said, what about sister? Sister says, I also don't have money. So he tried going to the outside and he says, uh, let me do some work because I need to do work, get the money. He went out. It was so sunny. He's sweating. He's drained out, but he is not finding the job. Then at the last in the evening, he found one person who was uh, doing some work, which he has to put all the gunny sack to the, in the transport. He said, I'll give you 10 rupees. So he said, okay. So he slogged that 20 bags to take a weighing of around 50 kg each going slowly slowly and he took four to five hours he reached home late night and then he says to his father i got a 10 rupees so his father said good he said go and throw in the well and come and that son got so wild and shouting and crying he said do you know full morning i went and walked and suddenly i got i worked four hours to take care of this i'm having this pain i have boils and 10 rupees I got it and you told me to just throw it. He said, yes, because last two days you were doing the same thing. Why you didn't feel that angry and agitated? Because it was not your hard earned money. So most of the time when we talk about money, we don't realize that parents and your spouse or whatever you are feeling is their hard earned money. So the value of money never comes to us because it has been given. So when we started earning, we started realizing the value of money, even it is 10 rupees because he has sweat for that four hours. And this is the importance of money. I like all of you to start thinking. I'm sure God grace and we all are privileged. We in being in this webinar itself says that you all have laptops or videos or computers or internet, it means we are privileged to come to this webinar itself. So we do have money. Our parents are really small. When it comes to us, we don't give the importance of that money because it is given. So start thinking about if you have to do that work, do you think you will spend that money? And that is the very important part I want you all to write. How important is for you that money is? So I wanted to make this list for you. This is very, very important. The concept is first was the value of money with a story. And second, I'm trying to say the concept called need and wants. 
or it is must to do or want to love to do kind of it so this is the another story i am going to say you where i want you all to go through this because this is the what i keep telling my kids also that of course i will tell uh, later that we try to give a budget we give them so there is uh, giving a background about us at least me my dad was in army so i have bring and brought a very i can say disciplined life thanks to my parents are bringing and very very clear that what we can do and what we cannot and that's what i'm trying to pass it on to our kids also the same way what is necessary and what is not so sometimes you may think that okay eating a pizza is very nice because i feel like eating but if i'm not eating pizza and if i'm eating a dal chawal or a normal sambar rice i'm still able to do that correct so there is a difference in needs and wants needs is which is a basic things like a, it is you are talking about without that you cannot do for example if you don't have a school books you cannot study it's a basic needs so but do i need to have a very four sets of books one for school one for here one for this or can i have a second hand book for utilization so those are the things we have to start realizing how i can optimize i remember i used to keep uh, teasing and i used to feel bad i was a fourth child of our family so in olden days there was no uh, books used to change quite a lot so i used to get it my books which was three cuts like my elder sister's name then second sister name then my brother and then me so i used to tell my mother and it's always a regret for me i never had the first time any new uniform came to me because always my sister's uniform will come and i used to tell my mom my god is it in my life ever i will get a new uniform or not so they she used to say no you are at least getting a better one so you start doing it so i still remember the concept now may not be there in the school to how to use a second hand books or a having thing but if you have to keep it because a lot of schools put the one set in the school for me at least i do still uh, i ask uh, seniors because for home to keep one more set instead of buying let us take a second hand or how we can try to do some things which you can make it need versus want it can be on the books or it can be for example i was doing this session last year and somebody says i wanted a i don't know what is that gaming pc some game name and that is a want uh, to me but it is a necessary for me and i said it is not a necessary because that particular game is coming around 40 or 60000 rupees but you can still survive without that or maybe a some other version which is free version or something like that which is not impacting your day to day basic living it is want it's not that as uh, there is an amazon some um, i can say some discounts are going on or some things is going on so i better go and buy those are wants so please try to understand here what is your wants and what is your need for the next one year then we will be able to understand even we are growing is it i need so easier way for you to think needs and want is you just first write a list it can be your best of clothing the best of accessories best of digital or i want the best of a uh, laptop or anything you can think of or a mobile or anything if i don't have this for next 6 months is it going to impact my normal lifestyle if not that is 100% a want but if i don't have that particular thing it's going to impact if yes it is a need so please try to understand what is need and what is wants in your life because that is going to impact throughout the life in a basic hygiene in a i can say budgeting for example if you are going to learn swimming or something you can try saying that okay i can take a basic swimming suit but if i don't want it fine i may have it a bigger or a very luxurious one so you have to decide what is the uh, things which you want and how you can manage within a specific budget so this is uh, what i'm going to write uh, and give it to you please do write how you can exchange work and describe the work did and you were paid 
so at least in our house i keep saying okay um clean your room so i will give some points if i say that make sure that you make your beds i used to give the points and then i convert points into this so sometimes i remember when the kids were small now my kids are 22 and 16 they have grown up but when they were small i used to ask them to write it in a point system and every day i used to sign it so for example uh, our son is to get angry and i say that if you don't get angry in a full day i will give you the 10 marks and that made them to start controlling the anger and after some time he was uh, better to do it no need of doing so you can start making this exchanges where you receive money and then you can start having a bigger goal for you to how to take care of this so when you get a money as a gift so a uh, gift money can be most of the time at least in our house and i'm sure in all of your place also it's a birthday is coming we on only get and always the festivals like a, all the grannies normally gives quite a lot so those are the things or you can have it very clearly that okay if i achieve one particular goal for example like you can say yourself or uh, tell your parents that okay i'm trying hard to get a 90% or 95% or whatever it may be if you think your average is 65 so you say is okay i wanted to increase 5 more percent and let us say 70% i will get some reward so it's a reward system where you find as a goal post and then you get it as a gift money what you do with that there's a difference in giving earning and receiving money because earning is you have put an effort to get that earning receiving money is always given with a uh, gratitude to and think of the people have given so you have received with the uh, birthday or anything else so these are the things which you can get it as a gifts and one you can get so when your parents are getting salary or they are in a business they are putting an effort and then getting a money is their earnings and when you are receiving is like when you are getting in a gift this is the best part for me i am sure all of you must be having a so much in your mind how you want to celebrate your birthday parties and this is the i now they started feeling it is bigger than a festivals and all so you have to start writing this if your birthday is going to come or it is gone so it is good to make it if you wanted to budget your birthday party how you can decide it and that is a very uh, good way because smaller decision comes into part for so you if your birthday is coming soon please do this or otherwise make it as a dummy party and ask your mom that or parent dad anyone that how much budget you can have for your party and then you decide how you wanted to celebrate that party so for example i have just now last 5 10 days back only our son's birthday has gone so i was very clear that uh, wherever you wanted to do the party i wanted either your all the friends per person 500 rupees or a 5000 rupees so if you are going out you decide where you are going to go out because he wanted to go for a gaming or i said if you are going for a gaming then you may not have the place for eating which is the luxurious place or whatever restaurant bar kind of it or whatever restaurant anywhere so you find it out so it was a good to see uh, he along with the sister try to see that okay where all you can get the zomato discount or where all you can get the other discount so i can get the better way how to go and reach there so because you have known very clearly my boundaries are set then you have to make a decision trade off that i want a gaming more or i wanted to eat more or where i wanted at home or i wanted to get the food from outside that will start exploring the things where you will start saying that which card is giving me the better deal or which uh, place is giving me a better deal so this is not a just a party part of it it is making you to explore know and do the prioritization with your decision making and i was happy that he was able to uh, finish his birthday party within a limit even though in my mind i will give it at least 10% here and there but i was very strict most of the time whenever we go because it's not the money the value of money is very important for example when we go out we always sees that when you are ordering you just see that ki 
total bill if you're going in a fine dining is five to seven hundred rupees per person so what you're ordering so is it you can share with somebody or you can make sure that you make the different things together so you can have the things within the amount what you're looking for so any time when you go you should be aware of because once i went for a one of the party and we were around 60 people and all the kids have given what they like very fancy so we had 50 percent of the food was wastage and each food was around thousand bucks plus one dish so it is and i felt very bad of course the host was also feeling bad that's a learning for us that when we give and go it can be our own party or somebody else when we are ordering we should be very conscious about that person also that okay if i want to try something new when you're trying new thing what is the cost and if it is too much please ask them can i do a sharing with somebody or i will try to take some time later so that part is very very important which is called awareness of what i am ordering it's your parents or yourself or the anyone else who is giving party but we should be aware that what we are ordering is not pinching somebody's pocket so this is the another things for the kids who are little big teenagers i want you to sit with your parents and do this this i have been doing that's a thanks to my parents i have done it of course when i was in 12th standard 11th standard onwards so i staying alone so i has to do this and i still have and i do right till date my household expense but it is very good learning for all of you and ask your parents how to budget a household expense and try minimum at least 2 months you will realize to know that how much household expenses are there and how you can run which will help you out of course if you are going uh, for a pg or you are going for studies out you will know how to make the budgeting of an expense so in our office sometimes when we see and i hear they will say okay my salary came and i went off uh, to give back all the things i have borrowed the money and i always says why they have to borrow the money because the best part is they have never budgeted so you should be budgeting because when you are doing this please ask your parents to take the two months full so you will know what is uh, how much money they are giving to the servants how you are taking care of electricity bill water bill what are the units they are getting how to pay where to pay make sure that okay how much it is coming for the necessity uh, kitchen item food items and all the stuff and if you are not able to pay you will realize that you will start saying okay next time how i can find tune it instead of going to the four times going food i may do it one time or what are the things which in household which is must and where i can reduce it for example you will realize sometimes that okay i am buying quite a lot of things which i may not need it or it can be clothing or anything else how i can reduce it so budgeting for a household is a lifetime experience when you do it yourself take it through the cash because you may not have a credit card and debit cards so like your parents and try to manage this and see and ask back again with your parents that is it they were doing the similar way or you have gone most of the time you will realize if your parents were able to do it in 50000 you may go at a 60000 but yes the next month you will learn more and minimum 2 months in a year if you do it i am sure life long your budgeting will never have to borrow from your friends family or something when you are uh, going for higher studies or you are doing higher studies or you are staying yourself that's a lifetime skill so i'll just go again back to the concept of money so till now i was trying to give the concept of value and now i will start giving it's i'm sure if you are fifth standard and above these are the mathematics things where you will realize it most of the time what we are learning in the mathematics here we are applying that mathematics so i'll just show you the video because the video is not coming in my ppt so please tell me if you are able to see and making sure they are specific with clear details measurable with exact amount attainable but challenging enough realistic with necessary skills and knowledge and it should be time bound 
so that you start taking action without any delay. Next, you need to know where you stand financially. List down what and how much assets you own. Also list down how much liabilities you have. The difference between these two is your real net worth. It will give you an idea about how far you are from your goals. Third pillar is to know how much you need to save. Normally people save whatever is left after spending from their income. But the right way of saving is to set aside at least 30% of your income based on your financial goals from your income. And then use what is left for your expenses. And finally, you need to create a budget for your finances. Budget helps you to save more. Also ensure that the payment of personal debt should not exceed 25% of your income at any level. Call us now to build strong pillars for securing your family's financial so even though this uh, video is actually a financial planning, but I wanted to focus on a goal creation, very, very smart goals creations, uh, which is specific, measurable, achievable and realistic and time bound. For you all, I wanted to understand for your goals can be a very specific things. For example, if you are learning any of the sports, you wanted to say that I wanted to do much better. It can be time bound or it can be a go to the next level or if you are studying you can say i wanted to uh, do any things like if i wanted to apply for a higher education or a gmat or you wanted to go with uh, any specific things how you can take care of it so most of the time when we are kids we always try to say so i'll give you an example of our son itself there is a he keeps asking because we have a budgeted around fifteen thousand in a year so he told me i wanted to buy some games i don't know what he plays but he's telling that i wanted to buy a skins which is much costlier and then i said okay we can't do it so he said okay fine i have a budget for the home uh, food from getting a uh, once a week i will not go and get it from outside and that money i will keep saving so at least in one year i will be able to buy something so similarly you all can say that i wanted to buy any specific thing it can be your gadget or a mobile or a skin for a game or you wanted to go little higher things like he says i wanted to buy a better laptop and i said hey, you can't so if you are not able to buy a better laptop so you should save for at least two or three years of your pocket money and other whatever you are giving and make it very specific and get it across and i can bet you when you have done that for two years to save that money to get your better gadget or a mobile or your skin or uh, whatever gaming skins they whatever they say you will earn that and you will feel proud of you so much and that is best part of your goal so you just think uh, in i'm sure all of you must be doing this when you go with your parents or you go yourself we all go to the google map and we'll enter that where we are going and then we will say which route to take it correct every one of us will just go and set the goals okay here i'm just giving example today he has to go and get it across to go and get the books so he said okay fine let me go and check first how many hours or minutes is going to take it so he said it's 34 minutes so i can adjust and go 40 minutes uh, before the timing of the collection of the books so we are very clear on the goals where we wanted to achieve where we wanted to achieve that very clearly which route to take it this route is uh, having any alternatives or not and what is the best part of okay in between the routes such happen i'm sure you must have seen sometime when we started from the home it is saying 34 minutes and by the time we reach it is becoming 45 why right? because there is a time has grown and the all the traffic started coming in middle so it will say that you wanted to reroute or what so it's i keep saying the google doesn't scold you or something it will reroute it the same thing in our goals also sometimes it is made possible that something suddenly happen and you are not able to do for maybe uh, which is not under your control if you're not keeping well or suddenly the car is or your vehicle is not going it something happens or the traffic is becoming more 
you will just go to the alternative and then take it across but achieving on the goal set so you, it's not that when you're going from home wherever it will go you will go so even if you wanted a taxi or something they will always say that okay where you wanted to go you will try to find it out nowadays the good on technology it always says very clearly okay if you go this this is the amount coming it is a toll amount coming this is the different routes it will keep giving you the different ideas so you need to set a goals for yourself and being a kid your goals are very clear on your education and your health wise because most of us sometime will not give that much of importance on our physical health so you will have that okay i will take one sports and that one sports how i wanted to achieve by end of a day or end of a year that is the two goals you will separately go across and make sure that you achieve those so this is what is the how the money works so if you see or sometime you must have seen that our mom and all used to keep the money in the uh, what you call maybe in a piggy bank like even in your piggy bank if you see it is not earning something if you are putting 100 rupees you will be getting only 100 rupees so why not make money works for you so they will say a simple interest how the money comes of course you may have to invest or deposit in a bank you have to invest somewhere where they may give the money to somewhere else and then you start getting across the interest so this is a very simple interest i am sure all of you must have gone through in the mathematics uh, classes it i think so i remember if i am right it is fifth or sixth standard onwards we have the chapter on simple interest and it is really simple because if i am giving one uh, 100 rupees for one year they will say that i will give you 10% interest so it is like a prt by 100 which is dot so i remember pre is a principal amount 100 rupees and r is a rate rate is 10% and t is a time so most of the time you can see if i have kept 100 rupees for one year in the bank i will get 110 rupees so this is what is a simple interest which it directly it is giving you 100 plus interest is when you finish one year so what happens most of the time it's uh, where you put it across that 110 rupees again and then it earns money on 110 now that is the compounding interest and compounding interest or we call compounding uh, formula we can say it is eighth wonder of the world so we called a power of compounding so i'll say that in a behavior and our lifestyle it is power of compounding is very very powerful so i'll give you example i used to do this our daughter does it and i'm sure all of you will do when you start practicing in a mathematics all this uh, questions if you do more times of questions your speed goes high you know and your accuracy goes very high so that is a one way of doing again and again the same thing your compounding works works wonders it's like an exponential and that is the one way of they're saying in their mind also when you are going before the exam if you just go through the formulas and other things it just reads straight that okay this is what you learned so sometime i'm sure when you go to the exam hall you will say oh i don't know anything but when you start seeing the question paper you said oh i know everything so similarly the compounding interest is a uh, your interest on interest and the power of compounding works very well i can tell you in the day to day life when you started doing some exercising on a start or something so i was remembering we went uh, recently and we realized that we don't know we know normal swimming but we really don't know how to swim in the sea so our daughter said okay we should go and learn uh, how to do everything exercise while doing a correct swimming so first few days they said okay you have to make sure that you should know how to control your breath for 30 second under water so we were able to do two to three days and suddenly we took the gap for three days because we went out again when we came back we realized it i was able to do only for 20 seconds so when then we have to go back again and 20 seconds and start again doing it so when you do things repeatedly for a longer term your compounding effect goes very very high same thing in our money when your interest on interest goes where also goes very very high so i'll have a small uh, video on power of compounding
to just go about it. One minute. Chinese bamboo is the world's tallest grass, which goes up to as high as 80 to 90 feet in a little over five years. When you sow the seed and start watering and nurturing it daily, you don't see it growing for five years. It would be frustrating, isn't it? But wait, miracle happens after five years. It grows from zero to 80 feet in less than 90 days. Similarly, growing well through SIP also requires a lot of patience. Had you started an SIP of rupees 10,000 in September 2010 in large cap fund, the value of your total investment of 3.6 lakh rupees would have been 3.57 lakh rupees after three years. Had you stopped an SIP, this temporary loss would have been permanent loss. But had you continued an SIP at the end of the fourth year, your value of total investment of 4.8 lakh rupees would have been 6.95 lakh rupees. And if your SIP still continues till March 2019, the value of total investment of rupees 10.3 lakhs would have been 17.38 lakh rupees. Remember, correction is temporary, growth is permanent. So continue your SIP for long term to create wealth. Mutual. So here we are trying to say that how the power of compounding works very, very well. So this is the best answer I wanted to tell you. And this is the again one more concept I wanted to explain that patience pays. So most of us, not only kids, we don't have a patience. And that's what I was going through the one of the doctors and he was trying to say that. So most of our other things, we will just try to put it in our social media and then we will try to find it out how many friends liked it or not like it. If they viewed it, they didn't like it, why they didn't comment it. And we get a lot of stress because we just want uh, instant gratification or we want somebody to keep viewing it. So some things we have to try to understand most of the time, you should have a patience. Of course, social media is totally different ball game. I'm not going to add here part of it. but for anything, so if you have to study, you will take one year to clear your whatever standard you are doing. It is not necessary that if I know everything, I will be able to clear in one month or one year. One year is a duration. So everything has a specific duration for our capability, our learning, and then you go to the next year, correct? So similarly, when you are having a tree, so you cannot say that, ki, okay, why tree is not giving me the fruit? because it's have its own sweet time to grow then it will so most of the time we normally i can say let us say mango or something it takes 10 years so i was going to the recently of one of the nursery and they says okay they have made a hybrid which will give you in a five years but yes most of the time they still have a time so you should have a patience to make sure that we get the fruit what we are doing about so same thing when you are studying or you are playing, give the time to your body also to heal the body to grow and just start giving the what is the result you are expecting to do in a part of it. So always remember one thing, the patience space. So patience if you have for your own goals and continue your effort. So you can't say that, okay, I am waiting, but I am not. So it's a very well-known thing that God also help those who help themselves. So you can't say that I am been praying, I'm going to the temple every day, so I should get a first class or I should get 90%. It will not happen. So you need to work what you're supposed to do and wait. And everything happens for the good. So that's a, one of the concepts which we always try to say. It's a power of compounding or patient space. Then we will go to the inflation. So this is a normal, you, I'm sure you must have seen. And recently I was going through and uh, one of our friends told me, you know, this uh, food I used to order pizza in one specific place. It was around 700 rupees and suddenly it's becoming 900. So I'm sure you must have also seen where you go regularly or regularly whatever you buy for food. And this year it is becoming a little bit more. So what is the reason? So it is actually a simple formula we call as a word inflation. Inflation is a rate of increase of price of the good and services over the period. So for example, if you're buying a bread or you can say, let us say petrol, you were buying around 
of i'm just giving example around 75 till last one year and now it is becoming 84 so that is the inflation over the year and therefore you all people i'm sure you must be going and you must love some food you can easily realize okay whatever your burger or pasta or pizzas or wherever you were going that amount what was one year back and now it is gone high because their ingredient and everything is gone high so they have also increased it that is the concept of inflation so this i already have done it which is called time value of money which is a concept where we say that what is the worth amount available what now 100 rupees will be equivalent after two years is it the same or not what is the time value of money so i'm sure when you speak with your parents you will realize it uh your fees what was two years back and your school fees now may be a different so that is the time value of money and sometimes they will say that okay if you pay me in advance you may pay me less so your fees is i'm just giving example it's a one lakh rupees so they will sometimes the school says that okay they want to raise a fund so if you pay the next two years fees instead of two lakhs they will say okay you pay 1.8 lakhs money so they are just giving the time value of money in upfronting so these are the very common concept where we always try to say that what is a time money and value so this is the another very big concept where we can say risk and returns so of course this comes under very much in investment but for your sake i will just give you example uh, which i have seen so many times in our house and everywhere so we'll say that okay we have to go for a party or we have to go for a, some function and or maybe most of the time uh, you have to go and um, go to the school bus school bus is coming at seven o'clock and if you are getting late what you do you try to do work very fast fast or try to drive the car fast to the bus most of the time when we go and drop our sons we'll see so many times even we have chased the school bus because we have gone late so it is always a risk we take it in a day-to-day -day life where we, we don't realize it in an investment of course but yes we are taking a risk when we are not doing things on the right time so most of the time when we are taking little risk sometimes the returns are also equivalent going across if we are going on perfectly fine we will not we will be straightforward steady so which we call we don't have a much risk so our returns are also very low and where we take a higher risk there is a returns where you can achieve something more but you have a risk you may fall you may met with an accident you may have some things so most of the time in a day-to-day -day life we takes much much more risk than investment risk i can tell you especially i'm just coming from my uh sister's place and i realized that the, my nephew has met with an accident because he wanted to go at 7 30 at specific time and place and he was getting late he was driving very fast and he met with an accident so it is simple as that so sometimes we take a higher risk a lot of time people have taken you must have heard i have heard from my son more than anybody else that okay the kids are talking about cryptocurrency or something you will make three times five times ten times money but yes almost i can say 90 95 percent of the people have lost the money so it is a risk and reward you can think of a risk and returns are the complementary for each other so how you do a diversification is uh, indirectly we always say don't put all the eggs into one basket it is a similarly i can understand from um, your perspective i used to do quite a lot i'm sure you all must be doing is when we get our uh, mathematics portion paper we'll say that how many chapter is going to have what what many number of question marks coming so for i'm just giving an example you have a 10 chapters and you'll say first two chapter is 10 marks is next is three marks is another is five marks so you will diversify your effort also on that which will give you the most so if i read a five chapter i'm getting a 70 percent marks let me work only on those five chapter first no in and out and make sure that i get 70 percent correct so most of us we plan our exams or plan our slavers or learning pattern also with the concept of a diversification very clearly that yes I, if something doesn't work the other is taking care of or what i should focus on the most and what i should not focus on so indirectly we will be able to understand and make sure that we achieve our what is our goal so similarly in the 
uh, investment also we have a different uh, asset class you must have seen and uh, looked across yes my parents may have it a house they have a gold they take care of i am sure that lic normally they say or insurance they may have a money in the bank these are the things most of the people have it of course if they are aware they may have equity or what we call stocks also and mutual funds but these are the very common things so this today i am just trying to give you the awareness if you know very good otherwise go to your parents and start asking that will help you in a better way i have already expelled uh, spended more time on how you should save and do the things please tell your parents to give you two months of budgeting first try to understand and see how your parents are doing and you do yourself independently for two months you will never forget in a life how to do and you will be a better managing well so this i will skip for the most but yes i just wanted to tell you overall lot of time when we get uh, our customers from us and all they always try to tell me two things why we don't have this basic skills in the school or nobody has told me before i have lost so much of time and now i don't know how to achieve my all the goals so that was a, one of the reason we wanted to put this very clearly the value of money we trying to do it from a school perspective and all the stuff that yes start investing from the day one when you get it can be internship money or it can be your first salary or start knowing the concept and then go ahead when you do it so it is good there is nothing wrong to spend i always tell we should spend otherwise the economy will not work but yes you should make sure that if i get 100 rupees as an internship at my pocket money it can be my salary 25 rupees i should save and then you manage however it is so that is a very very important part to have a discipline to first invest the money is never be important let me tell you if you you able to spend 100 uh, save 100 rupees very good but that 100 rupees should continue and when you start increasing more your salary that 25% 100 will become 500 500 become 5000 so don't do it in a constant money that 100 rupees i'll say always do the percentage of your earning and that makes a very thing so as of today your earnings are normally the gifts from your parents grands and family friends and maybe the pocket money save it for that and this reminds me it's a very very nice thing i felt it uh, how to do that so we were uh, normally my mother gives in diwali and other gifts and we were going for one of the concert and there the person came it's a uh, people who doesn't have money for their education and they were asking that if somebody can donate so they were asking and when they came one by one and i was so surprised to know that both the kids they said okay whatever um, nani means my grandmother has my mother has given the money let us donate the full diwali gift to the people who are not able to get this thing so it is very nice feeling that it's not the amount what they have donated but yes they have thing that okay i have this much money let me give who can at least start studying our do the continuation of the study so it is good to have those concept yes i have money and when you give it across to somebody that happiness is more than what is person is receiving it also so most time it is okay when you are saving and for a cause so you can have your own goals as i told you you wanted to buy or you wanted to give it to somebody who is maybe under privilege or doing something else so it is very good to start looking in that angle over the period so how the money works most of the time as i already told you that i am sure all of you must have seen also and done it like a payment gateways or gpay is becoming a very common or phone pay or whatever thing so these are the ways banking model works it's a real time gross settlements and rtgs where we do it or immediate uh, payment or you will do it as a nfts these are the payment gateways of course you have now upi these are the different options has come now it will directly link to your bank or your parents bank and then you can able to do it but that's another thing so i was talking to one of my friends and this is no i don't have a credit card and debit card still and i was telling she's around 40 plus and i said why you don't have it so she says because in our mind we always think the plastic money we can pay later 
so when you give and count the money you realize very clearly that okay i'm spending so much and that's a very good thought i felt it when you start learning and you're not having a things that how to do it this story i'm going to tell you which is a life story and i personally feel uh, very scared in the 2007 or you can think of it what happened in us because there most of the people they takes money on the loan so even for an higher education or staying and all the stuff and they are not able to pay and the debt crisis happened so what i have started feeling nowadays a kid this kid is around uh, 22 years old and he is not even earning and he has taken because there are new apps has started coming and they gave a 12 lakhs loan and he took it he says no i wanted to go and he didn't inform the parents and all he has gone to leh ladakh and he purchased and he spent one month to go to the full leh ladakh in biking and all came and that mother came to me after 3 months and said that rachna you tell me what to do so i said i don't know what exactly happened and he says no i thought i will get a job and then i will prepay and all and that's a place where they didn't have a mortgage they gave me 12 lakhs now i don't have a money now my parents has to pay and my the the mother whom i got i know her very well she says that now i don't have a money i have to sell my gold and give it and then i asked the son why you went without asking and taking so long because you must have waited the vacation can wait for one year two years when you don't have a money so he says no there are so many apps is giving me free of cost money and i said that was not free of cost first of all you are paying around 36% interest so these are the points please try that means the loan whenever you are old or getting closer don't take a loan where you can't pay it even if it's a credit card or debit card your parents must have given supplementary cards because we have given some time to our daughter to know that okay we are not that you get a supplementary card so when you use supplementary card you should know that this much money that we can pay or not otherwise the interest is very very high you have to realize that goal is important or not if he is not gone to leh ladakh it is nothing is going to change his lifestyle ever he must have gone after some time and it is really sad to know that the mother has to sell the gold to make sure that happens and of course they were able to do otherwise the recovery and other things is a very big big process or paying minimum your interest goes very high and these are the things are uh, the one of the reason i always trying to do this uh, i can say you uh, the value of money for a kids that even one of you have learned for a life i think so i have done for my day so with this i am actually winding it up i'll take few more questions this i wanted you all to think about the kids if they are in a teenagers how to take care of your higher education or how you can plan for your higher education do this exercise yourself maybe how much you can get a sponsorship how much you can get a loan how you will take care if you have a option of working there how you can work and reduce these are your uh, different option and i'm sure all of you are much smarter you will know much better than us so with this i give it across to the question answer there is a parent section is there so please make sure that uh, use that or give to your parents i have a last um, video before i close and take the question answers we love our children a lot and we want the best for them but sometimes we also end up spoiling them by giving in to their demands all the time i think the starting point for us also is to look at whether some of these demands are unreasonable and if they are unreasonable i think we need to tell them no in that way they will also in the future learn to hear a no to some of their unreasonable demands in my book honey i lost all our money value for money of children has always been a favorite chapter for many of the readers i think we should look at it a little more innovatively and look for ideas to engage the children and teach them value for money directly now one thing that my spouse rashna does very well is she gives a budget for gifts during their birthdays or even while we travel there's a budget to spend that brings in a whole new perspective and they start 
looking at it, looking at the prices and seeing how do they fit it within their budget. Similarly, we can look at maybe giving them the responsibility of let's say managing a monthly budget or even a birthday party so that they learn from it and start to be more sensitive to how they use money. I think for us parents it's a very very important aspect and it is really important to teach them, engage children even while you make your investments, can we start engaging them, engaging with them at an early date and they will do very well. That's all from my side. I'm happy to take uh, question answers or you make them say, Sanjay. Sure, I think we are already uh, having uh, two questions in the chat box. Can I read it out? So first question, I can say that I want to speak value of money for kids. Yes, I'll be happy to speak with you, Unati. Uh, what is the meaning of realistic budget? So most of the time when we are talking about the budget, of course, I'm sure when you're having a home budget, you will try to teach what you are doing. And I'm assuming you also taking care of some part in investment and some part in your lifestyle. And one is the basic needs. So that's the same thing we will, will teach. But I'm happy to take one more session to how to budget for the kids and the household if you want it. Uh, can, can I allow Sandhya to talk? Uh, yes, please, please allow. Hi, Sandhya, good evening. Please unmute yourself and ask question. Sandhya, can you unmute or Sandhya, can you unmute her? I can't hear you. Then I asked her to unmute. Okay. Any other person? Can we? So I'm just going through the chat. Thank you so much for a wonderful session. Thank you for everybody. Uh, useful. Thank you. Presentation. Yes, we will be sending the presentation. I want it, Nunati. I've already told you. I think so. Everybody, I have answered. Uh, Praveen is asking, can you ask? Yeah, Praveen is asking. So the first question, another question is coming is money is important or a passion? Very important part of it. Somebody I was speaking very recently. Uh, I think so. It is both hand in hand. It is two side of the coin. Uh, passion is important, but we should have a basic needs. So as long as your basic needs are taken care of as an alternative income or you are sure your passion will give you that much of cash flow, please go with the passion. There is no second doubt about it. But we need to have a basic needs of uh, clothing, shelter and the food and then go for it. So most of the time I keep saying people that we need a money for our basic lifestyle. Above that, you can still do what you love to do it. How much do you save? For the college funds, it's a good question, depending on uh, things. On an average, I can say uh, in India, if you wanted to do a degree in engineering or you can take an architecture or basic things, it's costing around 15 to 20 lakhs now. So you can in give inflation around seven, seven and a half percent because fees is growing more. But if you are looking as an undergrad and abroad, it is around two crores. And if you are looking in a master's, it will be minimum of 40 lakhs. And yes, Praveen, can you ask question, please? The meaning of time bound. Yes, Praveen, please tell me. Meaning of time bound. Time bound is like a how you have it in your school. Uh, they will say you to do this homework by weekend and come back, correct? Or they will say you this is your project and this project you should submit within a one month. Am I right? 
or they will say you do the uh, this project within a uh, 10 days when you get the the uh, shara holidays or christmas holidays they will say you these are your homework you should submit it when you come back to school am i right similarly that is a time bound so they are telling within this time you should complete and come back